Doctrine. What gender is doctrine? It's masculine. Yeah. That's why the adjective here is masculine plural. Right? You'll for ne. We have a he, a yod and a he attached to this you'll for ne. What does that mean? Um. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. The suffix is. Uh huh. Exactly. Yulfone with third feminine singular pronomen suffix added. That means her doctrines or her teachings. And why are her teachings? There we don't have a verb just like the hoi in between the piece before that. So we can find it without a verb as well as with a verb. In both cases, we have to figure out whether the adjective is in the absolute or in the emphatic state. So if you have the tables in your mind, it is fun. <laughs> it gives us some trouble. <laughs> but after a few uh, exercises, you'll be able to figure it out. It'll be easy. Did you have much trouble in translating these sentences in the exercises? Uh, the vocabulary, but uh -huh. if you know the words, yeah. it's okay, but <laughs> <laughs> the, word, no, the vocabulary was difficult to <laughs> Yeah, you could look up it, uh, uh, while translating. You didn't look up the vocabulary here? We have those. I tried to memorize, memorize it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. That's that's a that's a good exercise. Yeah. I only got to twenty five page page twenty five, I think, this yet. Uh-huh. Okay. No problem. Shall we move on? Is that fine? Uh, that part? No more questions? Uh, shall I erase it? This one, this section uh, is a little confusing one, that's why I kept it for a later time. Yeah. But you are faster than me. <laughs> <laughs> you pick it up a little more, you picked it up a little more early. So now you'll move on to chapter 7, the propositions. What other propositions did we learn before? In chapter 5, oh sorry, in chapter 4, yeah, chapter 4, we have the inseparable particles. They are also propositions. Base, dolot, budul. We can collectively call it as budul. Base, dolot, vowel, and vowel and lomat. Propositions, but they are inseparable. That means attached to the noun. Baktobo. 
in the book. Now we are learning some prepositions which are not added to the nouns. For example, men meaning from it has if you look up the dictionary it has a big range of meanings it can also be by uh, but no need to write it down just keep it in your mind we have in our uh, creed men ruho kadisho the nation creed mm -hmm. uh, jesus christ was took flesh from mary men maria o men Ruho Kadisho. So here he took flesh from Mary and from the Holy Spirit. The literal meaning is from, but there is a theological problem here. How is it possible to take flesh from the Holy Spirit? Because Holy Spirit doesn't have flesh. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. So, in some liturgical texts, we will find, I think in most of the liturgical texts, we find it translated as from the Holy, from Mary and from the Holy Spirit. But, I, <laughs> I cannot accept it since Holy Spirit doesn't have flesh. It is not possible for Jesus Christ to take flesh from the Holy Spirit. So, it means by or through, through the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this man has a wide range of meanings. There is a big section in a page in a dictionary. Um, this one fourth of a page <laughs> is filled with the different meanings of men. So. The most common meaning is from or by is also good but the text uh, doesn't give that meaning here I think yeah and it is also used uh, for comparison purpose of comparison better than gold to men dahbo which of you I know men kun which one this one or that one make a partition Here you have to just memorize the different prepositions. Uh, go through the text, you'll find it. Uh, chapter 7, page 30 in my book. Yeah, the first one is men, the second one is myth, uh, second one is um. Yes. 
uống được uống Ringing some, uh, ring a bell, something so else. So like metul tilokhi. Metul tilok because of you. Okay, metul tilok. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Metul tilok he malkuso. Okay. He has it in the. Our Father, the Lord's Prayer. Because the kingdom is yours. Metul okay. means because, because of, am, um, along with. And then comes by north or by nigh, meaning among or between. Then comes lavos, at, with, near, in the presence of, among, toward. <laughs> See that? Lavos. Then, then comes ak. Even though we have a youth in between. It is read as ak. This will be silent. Yod will be silent, okay? okay. While well, you pronounce it as ak, meaning like as. Al means upon, the head under, kadom before. Deal and eat, we can learn it later. Later means. Let's first finish another thing here. So last class, what did we learn? Pronominal suffixes, adding. Adding pronominal suffixes to nouns, right? And what does that give you? The possession, right? Possessive form, my book, your book, his book, her book, and all. These suffixes can be added to the prepositions. So when you add it to the budul prepositions, What are the uh, suffixes we learnt? Yuth, Tob, Tobok, Tobek, Tobe, Toboch, right? So add it here, B. When you add Yuth to here, or to the Beth, we We'll add a B a vowel uh, an E vowel to it. Whereas in Tob you don't find that. Right? It's just a yod. But here we get an E. What is the meaning here? In me. In me. And book. In you. In you for masculine. Bake. 
in your feminine B in him Boh in her So now you will be able to figure out what the plural will be. The first person plural. What is it going to be? Ban. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> 